Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Drea, as in designs by Drea. Drea's me, I am Drea. This is the Drea. So welcome back for those of you that have been here before. If you're new here, I would consider subscribing to the channel once you've watched this video and hit that bell notification to be updated every time I upload a video. Oh my God, I think I'd get that down by now. I don't. Okay, so today, what are we doing? We're actually going to see how I prepare my orders. Prepare your orders, what does that mean? So, because I always consistently have at least like 10 orders in queue, um, it's really important for me, at least one, to be organized, and two, to have all of my things prepared for that order and all my felt cut before I get to stitching. So I actually prepare for each stitch out for each order. I'm gonna to explain to you what that means today and how I stay organized in the chaos that is my shop. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First thing first, we need the order. I keep my orders on GoodNotes. I prefer GoodNotes because it's an app that can be on my iPad as well as my Mac and they kind of sync on the cloud so I can be typing away on my computer and then I can go ahead and take the iPad to my cutting station and know exactly what it is that I need to cut in what dimensions. That's what we're doing right now. The next important thing that I use is I actually use a color coded numbering system. Every time an order comes in, I assign a color to that order and within each order there are going to be a certain number of designs that that person ordered. Obviously they can order one design or infinity number of designs, right? However many designs there are in the store. So for this order I have tagged it as orange and she actually chose five designs. So there are going to be the numbers one through five in orange so that way I can identify each line item in this person's order. I make sure to cut enough sheets to fill however many of that design she wants and then I take a number and I use a hair clip and I clip it onto that and I put it to the side and I move on until I finish the entire order. If you're wondering how I know exactly what dimensions to cut all these felty sheets out at, I actually have them written down in my Good Notes notebook. So I know exactly what dimensions to cut every single one of the numbers within this order. I'm sure this all seems really time consuming, but it's really not because I already have a catalog set up for myself in Good Notes of every single design that I offer felty sheets for and every single size of felty that I offer. So because of that, when it comes down to cutting out someone's order, I'm able to do it very quickly. And because I did all that prep, when it's time to take it to my machine, I'm able to stitch out one sheet right right after the other and the only time in between is just hooping my stabilizer. Nailed it! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or just say hi. I love when you guys say hi. Let's me know that you guys are in fact watching and enjoying the content. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to hit that little bell button so that way you get notified every time I upload a video. So until next time, friends, bye-bye.